You want answers? So does he! Here's Marcel Minga! You know, the, the, the whore, info horse guys, they just took the, the here it is, the, the logo, here it is, the logo, as you can see, wars, info wars, in reality it was info Mars, guys, but he, that whore of Alex Jones, just, of Bill Hicks, just changed the, the W, you know, the M to W, flipping everything upside down in this world, guys. And uh, and this is what uh, what you get. This is the real meaning of that of that thing. It's Infomars, I'm telling you. Okay, so let, let me go ahead now and uh, and tell you the the last trap I was into, and uh, that I finally got out because I realized this trap of you know Jesus is coming, so we sit back and do nothing, and uh, uh, he he will do everything. We we let the children. Uh, suffering and uh, with the muzzle and everything because Jesus is coming and uh, and and uh, it will take care of that you know so let me start first with a quick compilation guys hopefully this thing will work I don't know ready are you ready Jesus are you, are you prepared Jesus is coming he's coming uh -huh. so you better watch out uh -huh. you better not cry you better not pout I'm telling you why that's right Jesus Christ is coming to town so here you have the thing about the rapture, when you really look at it, it's just silly and, uh, and really dangerous. The rapture. It turns out there is a God. How will it end? When will it end? What are the signs of the times? Does the Bible give us any indication of what might be happening? I will boot you. But one of the biggest examples was something called the Great Disappointment. You see, in the 1800s, there was a guy named William Miller who said he had figured out that Christ would return sometime between March 21st of 1843 and March 21st of 1844. He had a lot of followers, and a lot of people really bought into this. When it didn't happen, some people were still fired up and still thought they could figure it all out, and eventually ended up with different groups like the Jehovah's Witnesses and Seventh-day Adventists. Is COVID-19 a sign that the world is about to end? Will we have another economic collapse? Is Jesus appearing in different places around the world right now? Did you know that the Bible precisely predicts events surrounding the end of the world? When Fred and I got married, we decided that we would postpone having children. So I believe we sacrificed a lot within the organization. Tony, how many times have they actually predicted it in their writings? At you know? least eight times. Uh, 1874, 1914, 1918, 1925 was a big disappointment for them. Uh, <laughs> 1932, they updated it to. 1941. People put their lives on. And in Revelation chapter 6, the ride of the fourth horseman includes mention of deadly plague. So the events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. Well, we know there'll be horses. <laughs> because Jesus will be riding on a white horse. That's true. To my life, I'll be as lonely as Pat Robertson and Jerry Forwell after the rapture. Damn it, Jerry, why are we the only ones still here? I don't know. We hated all the right things. Now there's nothing left to hate. I'm going to hate that rock. No, I'm going to hate that rock. Let's both hate that rock. I hate you. I hate you, too. May 21st, just four days away. There's just no reason in the world, no possibility, that it will not happen. We are children of God, so we long to be with him. Um, this world has nothing for us. I mean, it's sin infested and um, just pick up the newspaper. And that, it's like you have no control over anything. It's all in the Lord's hands. And then it gives you this beautiful gift. Thousands of programmers working round the clock may not fix this problem in time. Such potential mass confusion confirms end time prophecy. The impending worldwide panic could signal the end of this age and Christ's glorious return. With only months before the moment arrives. Talk a little bit, if you will, about the... Hebrew, the word is Akaron, and that means the terminal generation, the last generation. We're there, folks! Wow. I could count people, we're the, we're the tribulation generation, we are the last. I'll tell you, it is it, it isn't it? I mean, it yeah. is. Take a look at the cover of Perhaps Today Magazine, that's our magazine, 2012. Has history's final year begun? The book of Revelations has 404 verses, and the number of people at the Last Supper, minus the number of Filipinos in the Bible. 
And you get... Three million one hundred... Three fifteen p.m. May 18th. That's when the rapture will begin. May 18th? That's one week from today. There's a lot of things coming to pass this year, 2015, and all the way up to 2018. A lot of meteors are supposed to be hitting the Earth. I tell you, it's a sign of the times. I see the Lord coming, and I see Him coming soon. I cannot believe we're already in the year 2019. This is exciting. Um, I'm surprised we're still here, to be honest with you. I was fingers crossed, hoping, praying, wishing that the Lord Jesus Christ would come back in 2018, and He did not. So we're still here, unfortunately. And I want to start it off with a bang. I figured let's talk about the possibility, the question of, could the rapture be this year? Boy, fingers crossed, I hope so. All right, let's count on our little fingers. Nine months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. September is nine months from the last Trump. Either this is his last term because he gets another four years, or this is the last of Trump. <laughs> I'm just taking the Bible literally and count that. 20, these kind of immunity certificates or so-called virus immunity certificates like you can't go out of your house they're talking about you can't go out of your house unless you've got some sort of uh, testing certificate that you've been tested or that you're immune to a vi virus or something like that so it's, it's setting the stage isn't it for ultimately this mark here that's going to be you can't buy and sell without this mark with the same name Iggy believes the current tetrad of blood moons is a sign from god to the world that something major is about to happen involving israel with iran's drive towards a nuclear weapon being a possible trigger the prophet says in the latter days i'm going to bring all people against jerusalem Ezekiel has said, this confederation led apparently by Russia uh, and the Caucasian people and Iran and uh, Turkey of the book of Revelation is going to begin right here at this place. The Bible teaches that Russia, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, Turkey, and other nations will come down under a UN flag and they will invade Israel. Now the embassy's moved to Jerusalem is what it could signal as part of biblical prophecy. Donald Trump recognized history. He, like King Cyrus before him, fulfilled the biblical prophecy. That evangelical support isn't an accident. The Trump administration courts it. After Listeners could not even have imagined. It's an opportunity for biblical tourism that I think uh, will, will grow and flourish in profound ways. The network's coverage followed his lead. Good news in this proposed peace plan. A group of them. That motivates their support for a foreign policy that they see as affirming those prophecies and a president who depends on their votes. So we've established that it's the beginning of the end of the world. It starts with all true Christians floating up to heaven. What about the sinners that are left behind? Well, Jojo, they get to witness the second coming of Jesus. <sighs> Jesus is coming back. Did he forget something? No, nope. Jesus is coming back for all of the <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, all started, guys, uh, from uh, and what, what you're seeing on the background is the prophet that I was involved with when I was a moron, guys. Because we want to escape from reality, guys. There's nothing, uh, other, there's no other way you can explain uh, what goes on with humans, guys. Uh, the, the system provides to us like goggles, you know, the virtual reality goggles to escape from reality. And there, are, there's for each of us there is goggles, so that you so that you can escape from from reality, so that you can do not have to be uh, um, how do you say like um, responsible for you. You don't have to be adult. You want just to escape. You want something to tell you that everything is going to be fine. You have to do nothing. And uh, here in Italy, guys, the, and one. From all the sheep there, I, are, they are controlling, guys. One of the most important uh, categories that they have to uh, neutralize uh, so that they will not attack them are Christian guys, because potentially Christians, uh, by saying that, you know, when I'll die, I go to meet Jesus, but they, uh, and, and I'm not saying that I do not believe in God, guys, I will explain later. Uh, they can potentially, you know, I don't give a fuck. You want to kill me, you motherfucker? Kill me. Who cares? You know? And so th this kind of thinking is very dangerous for them. And so what they do, they give, uh, as I showed in the intro, all these uh, preachers with a suit and tie, beautiful, uh, lots of money from the morons. And it's the sheep that give the money, guys, because they want someone to, to, to calm them, to tell them that you, you don't have to do anything. You know, Jesus, when he came here, guys, it just, you know, it wasn't afraid to to say uh, to the to Caesar at the time, you know, uh, what he thought about about him, you know. But this this prophet that I was part in, he first of all uh, puts the muzzle, because uh, even though he knows it's it's all uh, we cannot speak here in YouTube, but you uh, you know. But but how come he says he's a prophet and yet he's afraid of, of the consequences? Of taking a fine? I have taken lots of fines, guys. These people do not have not even a scar, and they are Christians, guys. 
and and I was part in in these morons because he looked so, so vigorous and so strong in his videos, you know. So like, okay, let me join this. Looks like a strong guy. He doesn't. Uh, he's not afraid of, of anything. Then I realized the moron put some muscle to go to shop. The prophet of God. Amazing. And also he was invited at uh, like Fox here with Opera, for example. This is Opera, this demon, and uh, and. And television, guys, promotes things that are functional to the system. A prophet that tells to the morons, you have to do nothing, Jesus is coming, is perfect for the elite, guys. Perfect. And so that's why they took this guy and put him in prime time, like really in the good hour of the day, you know, and promoted this guy. Because it's functional to them you know can't you see here guys there's this this uh, this is like fox here in italy guys and they were promoting this this prophet and he says here uh i i am a prophet of god and i received this uh mandate from god 33 years ago 33 years ago but i i was blind guys because i was also didn't want I w fear is a bitch guys fear is a bitch the fear of dying guys is a bitch and so you go from one goggle virtual reality to the other so that you don't want to face reality uh, I, I hope I, I, I would have prepared that there was this beautiful video music video Etienne uh, is the name of the artist with the video called uh, uh, am I wrong and in, in other videos that uh, YouTube took out, uh, I, I had this, I've talked about this video because it's very powerful. There is this cow, guys, with virtual reality in, in, the, in, uh, in the eyes, that while they are taking chunks of meat out of her, she's looking like in the grass and like a paradise, like everything is beautiful and uh, eating uh, calmly. While she was being cut at chunks of meat was taken away, were taken away from from the cow and only when someone just took violently the goggles away from that she saw the reality that that she was being fucked really hard and this is reality with us guys we are being fucked right now really hard you know but we put this uh, virtual reality in our in our eyes so that we don't face reality oh, everything is going to be fine and so i was saying guys that everything started from this post on facebook that i that i put you know and there are children now in uh, tagged like just like meat guys uh, let me see if i have the photo maybe it's here here, here it is guys so I, I i did this compilation because it's very appropriate guys when I saw that video, and I, and I will show you the video, uh, it was just like a scene, like meat, tagged meat, you know, and with a QR code, you know, the little children. And what happens, guys, is, you know, it's because there's this famous thing, you know, they say, ah, but why, if, if there is a God, why God leaves uh, children to get cancer? Where well, you moron, God has nothing to do with that, you are a moron. You eat junk food, you are a slave, you don't live in nature anymore. That's why you get cancer, you morons, and you give it to the little children that has no uh, fault uh, to get that. But since you are a moron, you get the consequences of being a moron, or not having the balls to fight, you know, to, to, to free yourself. That's what, what you get. And these morons, guys, look, these morons tells you to do nothing because it's easier, even for them. Morons. And so I put this post of this video, you know? This video is, is terrible, guys. You, you got, gotta see it. I'll, um, maybe it's here. Well, just quickly, guys. Uh, QR code, here it is. Let me show you quickly. Uh, here, here you see, this is China, guys. And China, as we know, is uh, what, what is waiting for the rest of us because they are ahead of, in the New World Order and everything. And, uh, and this is the video, I was going slowly, almost frame by frame, to show this shit. 
unbelievable with the muzzle guys and everything I cannot say much here uh, I hope also YouTube will not uh, you can see the the misery in their eyes guys and uh, and what I did guys I posted this on Facebook and this uh, brothers and sisters of mine that are pussies guys I mean so much pussies in this world guys and no pussy for us guys <laughs> I'm joking uh, I put this post this video on Facebook and, and look at the morons all the time that I already told you about this you know they they see this guys and in this fraternity so to speak with this moron prophet that I was part in there were people that had been juiced guys juiced taking the mark of the beast guys you know and still being part of this uh, group of people and also there are people that have children that they put in schools like this guys and yet they are Christians guys they do not have the balls to tell them what the fuck do you want to do with my children with my child fuck off they won't fight guys because they've been neutralized Jesus is coming put your child in yeah here it is they will say put uh, the child in the in the Lord's uh, hand and everything you moron you're supposed to take care of the child you moron God gave you this perfect body perfect nature and everything do, 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 what what else can, can, can he more do you want more to, from God to do you morons leaving children like this and look at the moron what says here Sophie says to me oh a, 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 omni omni powerful God please stop all this you moron you have to stop it you dumb moron the people at the top are laughing at us guys we know it's all in your hand you are the supervisor your 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 um, holy hand will uh, okay. oh, other bullshit I don't want and, and I told her yeah yeah wait for for Jesus uh, if we don't move our ass we're gonna end up like them I told her yeah which is the truth guys I lived in communism guys and I know the shit that is coming guys I lived it that's why I'm doing yeah I have all this uh, energy when uh, trying to warn people about the new world order guys because it will be communism times uh, times 33 times <laughs> <laughs> oh man there's nothing to laugh guys but uh, you know so let, let, let's uh, go quickly uh, to, to, to this shit here my savior uh, is, is il mio salvatore è il Signore Gesù, la mia vita gli appartiene. So my life belongs to Jesus, so I have to do nothing. This uh, material uh, earthly earthly uh, life is not uh, important for me. So so guys, it's not important to take care of the room here guys. Let's let's not wash ourselves. Let's not wash our ass anymore. Everything is I uh, Lord will take care of that. You dumb morons. So I told her, so what are we supposed to do here? Just be puppets and zombies, do nothing? And everything will take care by God, you know? You are putting your little children, I told her, in to be raped in school right now, and uh, instead of uh, taking care of them. Uh, oh, but, but, and here comes another moron, brother. Here comes another moron telling to me, ah, oh, but Marcel, aren't you also waiting for God? What? Uh, thank, guys. Pari consistentemente iniziamo iniziamo fino alla fine. Dio pace. Io non posso fare nulla, my signor. I I can. The moron Sophie tells me again. I can do nothing. Only God can uh, fix things. I told her the same. Maybe maybe you have uh, the. Uh, children in school that you are they are being raped right now but you are doing nothing uh, because you say God will take care of that and, and and also you think that just by buying this prophet guys sold to these morons this flag guys where where he is depicted him the prophet that is more than 70 years old with this young 
uh, young uh, sister that uh, fell for, 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 for the lies of this moron, uh, that uh, sh she is really long, not even 30 years old, guys. So it, it could be very well her, her, her nep nephew, how, how do you say, her, uh, her niece, how do you say. Uh, my English is not good, guys, but look at look at the ego guys this guy says he is god now right now he switched it from being a prophet of god now he he's literally god he says so i mean this is the elite guys they want to be god guys and yet this guy that, that is supposed to be on our side he also is god so maybe there are some and also guys if god is is is, is here on earth uh, how come you nobody on earth have have heard, you christian have heard about this prophet and only now you are seeing his face I mean, I, I was really dumb, guys. I'm telling you. We fall from one shit to another until we grow up, guys. I grew up at 40 years old. What can I say, guys? It took a long, long time. But as they say in Italian, uh, better later than never. And so this moron sells... Can, guys, I, I, was, I would print this kind of shit. I, I was a graphic designer. But but not this kind of shit, you know. So this moron went to a graphic designer, designer gave them his pictures, and tell them, "Ah, oh, could you do me like this? Put the sky in the background, and and put my wife and me, and we are like a Elohim, like a a, a god. Well, he is God, he says. But uh, with and morons, guys, go and buy this flag of this moron that ha has fun with his." new wife <laughs> and the morons buy the flag guys and put it in their windows here in italy guys here's the level of moronry w when it came to this point I, I started to have some doubts you know finally my moron mind woke up you know my moron mind woke up at that point man thinks he is god and now wants me to buy a flag and to put in my where where in the flag is him let me get out of here, I said to myself. I've been fooled enough. So, let me go ahead now. Uh, so here, here, here's the moron again, Sophie. My, my ex-sister. It is a strange, my defender, but I go for you. Ah, I protect my child by giving him to the Lord's hand. This is how I protect myself. These are pussies, guys. Fucking pussies. Their children are being raped right now. They are being raped right now by, by going with the muzzle everywhere, guys. And many of them, as I said in this congregation, guys, they are Jews, guys. Not Jews. J Jews, that we know what it means, you know. You can not do anything in the car. Oh, so in my flesh I can do nothing. Only the Lord. Other bullshit, guys. Other bullshit. And 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 also she look look at the look look at the sheep all uh, angry with me at the end. Says to me, but if you believe in uh, Jesus Christ, uh, but in yourself, but uh, said to non confidence in my But if you don't believe in God, but in yourself, who said that you moron? Why aren't why are you among us still, you know? And I told her, you moron, I'm not at anyone's place, you moron. I'm at my house right now. I told her yeah. yes. And uh this is the message I, I gave because as soon as I did this, the prophet contacted me. What are you saying? What 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 are this kind of language? Blah, 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 blah. He controls everything, guys. The morons have no brain switch off their brain and he would control everything the post this moron would write and everything and uh, and this was one of the reasons that what this guy wants d doesn't want me to 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 write what i have in my mind he wants to control also what i say on uh, on publicly what the fuck so soldiers obedient soldiers he wants you know and morons like it, guys, because he, he they he gives them an escape. Jesus is coming, so I since I am God, follow me. And so I told him, you are lying, and you know that you are lying by saying to them that you are in contact with God, and you speak in tongues, you know, and all this BS, you know. Uh, 
que ce bien là je... Uh, so let me and he told me at the end in this message because since since it's so private I will not say what he said I will not make I will not play the thing but I will just say what he did he said to me fuck off uh, this is the this is God talking guys telling you fuck off uh, th this is how Jesus behaved when he came here guys telling people you know going to to people and telling fuck off ah oh, you're a piece of shit poor piece of shit fuck off Get out of here! He, he is, this is God, guys. Okay? So, uh, what do we have? I, I, I did it, guys. I, I did it. I, I don't want to um, waste any more time with you. This was uh, InfoMars, guys. And uh, remember, guys, uh, until, until we... Uh, grow up guys and do not fear death anymore we will be at the mercy of all these fishermen of all this fake as you can see here guys at the bottom here there's a scrolling text here as you can see i change it it says something like you know many will will, will say that i am god i am god but don't believe them you know and i thank uh my brother that i've never met Bill Cooper, that uh, warned me about this shit, guys. And I suggest to, to, to all humanity, guys, to listen to the broadcast that Bill did, guys. He was This was a gift from God, guys. To Because Bill, guys, first of all, was one of them. So he knew very well these people are know what they're doing with all this Jesus is coming shit, guys. He knew there was no one calling him in his uh, radio uh, broadcast that would put him in the corner with something. The guy did the did the did the his homework, so to speak. You know, he knew all this BS guys, and by reading lots of this esoteric shit, guys, because he he wanted to to understand the enemy as best as he could. You know, he understood that uh, why all these preachers why all this division among christians guys why all these demons say that jesus is coming jesus is coming and i saw and i showed you guys all these student ties saying jesus is coming trump morons making like they are praying guys and uh, bill cooper knew all this and tried to to warn but since he was talking mainly to christians uh, guys uh, he got lots of attack from morons, guys, that say that they are little children, you know, that they do not want to to fight. He was trying to tell them, morons, we are the only one here in America that we can still do something, morons, because we we got still the guns, you morons. If you'll not, if you will not protect yourself, guys, nobody's coming from the skies doing the job for you, morons. You either protect yourself or you are history, morons. And he got lots of attacks from Christians, guys. That, as Bill said, you know, in reality, these people, you know, should not be afraid of uh, saying it like it is, you know, because he was, uh, he was say, in his uh, radio, guys. The fact that he was so long, guys, and the sheep didn't care at all, you know? And even Christians, you know, that w should not be afraid to contrast the most powerful, because if something happens to them, they will go, they will be liberated from this life, you know? Uh, here is, there is this bird here, guys. Beautiful! I love you! I love you! He comes uh, on and on because... Um, we have chestnuts here in the mountain, guys. And when we took some chestnuts here, there, there are lots of worms that come out of the chestnuts. And we take them and we throw them here. And now the bird all the time comes here. And he's asking to me, Where is, where is my food, Maggie? <laughs> but, uh, you know, birdie, if, if he, if, if he uh, becomes uh, used to someone else taking care of him, he will he will be eaten by stronger birds, you know. So that's why this is what Bill Cooper guys was trying to tell to the sheeple guys. 
don't let other people do the thing for you guys because you will be enslaved like we are being enslaved where we have all this army of morons that love someone to take care of them to, to give them the worm the worm so that they don't have to do anything so birdie yes i love you and everything but be independent from me maybe otherwise i do i do this for your benefit i'm telling you this because otherwise you will get used to me giving food you know and this is exact analogy of what we are facing guys people do not want to face reality and so christian would attack bill cooper because bill cooper was an adult guys finally was an adult and was telling to little children little children you will be fucked by them for the moment there's only the common 19 in your face you dumb morons but you will not stop here morons and since i've lived in communism guys i know what he was talking guys in communism guys there's no freedom there's no private property guys there's no place for for people like us when we can speak still something here guys in china there's no possibility to do something like some someone will knock on your door the time is short guys if you do nothing you will end up in in a uh, con concentration camp you morons there's no place for people like us in communism guys if i was in albania guys i would not be able in communism communist albania in the 90s i will not be able to say something things that i'm saying right now there's no freedom of speech let alone having uh, your own guns and having your own property there's no private property guys they are already telling you that you will be happy without private property well it's not that today you have private property even your house is rented to you because you have to pay taxes on that but you know we are slowly getting uh, more and more into slavery and uh, morons morons think that something will change and will take care of this situation morons have no idea where they are going that they will own really nothing and they will not be able but you know guys these people this christian that i see here this pussies i hope not all of them are, are like this i imagine this this these people will transform themselves ah we have to go along with the muzzle like the prophet says uh because jesus is coming and so i imagine these morons guys that when they will be but i don't think they will be executed guys because they don't have the bolt they will adapt to the system guys but i was imagining like even when they will are, are being executed they will say oh don't worry jesus is coming this, this is how i imagine it but but it will not come uh, to that point guys because these morons are already uh, bending by many of them as i said are just put the muzzle on their children and what more do you want guys go to shop with the muzzle and everything i prefer here in the mountain guys i'm alone there's nobody here me and my father i eat chestnuts but i don't put the muzzle to go to shop yes my father brings some uh, some food here and there and i you know i i found a way to survive without putting the muzzle guys i help him here with things to to, to keep the housing clean i uh, take wood from the mountain so i don't have to put the muzzle so there are possibilities guys but these demons do not want they want this beautiful house guys do you ha i've shown you in my video where i live guys and i'm not bragging guys this is a really small house and i fought like crazy with my father that is a demon guys didn't want me here but i said to myself B -b where can i go there is no work now guys so i said to myself i will be my father's whore here i will work for him so that i don't want to put the muzzle to go shopping guys okay so but you know guys this kind of people that will that want all the commodities of life you know they will always adapt themselves and with this uh, air of uh, holiness they will all also tell to you oh but uh, how come you are among us if you don't believe in god if you are not a, a pussy like us how, how come you are among us you pussies 
you like you like all the you know you want to go along with the system morons but on the outside you say you are a prophet you are a god you are this you are that you make me vomit <laughs>